Hello, my dear students. I am Praveen Bansal, teaching class 12th accounts. Chapter number 6 from the book 2, Cash Flow Statement. This is our third session for cash flow. And in the earlier sessions, we discussed cash flow from operating activities, in which we did few questions. Then we discussed about cash flow from investing activity. Let me recall you, investing activity means buying and selling of fixed assets by a company. The way company arrange funds is considered in cash flow from financing activities. Now the question is, why do company arrange funds? Company arrange funds to put it into some use. And that use is nothing but fixed assets of the company. And buying and selling of these fixed assets are under cash flow from investing activities. Though companies do not sell fixed assets frequently, but sometimes they do. So that attracts inflow of cash and that is added in cash flow from investing activity. And whenever company buys fixed asset, it is an outflow of cash. And we have to conclude what is the real figure of cash coming in and going out from investing activities. So let's understand this topic by few examples. Let us start. Here on your screen, you can see we have few fixed assets, furniture. In the previous year, it was 3 lakh. In the current year, it is 4 lakh. And plant and machine, 6 lakh, 7 lakh. But if you people remember class 11th chapter depreciation, where we discussed how depreciation is accumulated in a separate account, that was provision for depreciation account that is given to you with an adjustment. Last year's provision was 50,000, current year it is 80,000 and we have an adjustment as well. Then after we have laptops or say computers 50,000 to 350,000 and at last 12 percent investments. Students, in the earlier session we discussed non-current investments are also an item of cash flow from investing activities because this thing is not my current asset. This is a non-current asset. So we put it into a head that is non-current investment. And here you have a rate of interest mentioned 12%. 12% means this investment is going to attract 12% interest. So, what do we have to do? We have to see how these fixed assets has increased or decreased and this investment has attract interest or not. If yes, then on which amount? Let us start one by one. Investments have increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. So, it clearly says that there is an increase in the investment. And the adjustment says additional investment of rupees 1 lakh was purchased on 1st October. On 1st October means in the mid of the year. That means interest is going to be a bit problematic. Let's see 12% of 1 lakh for 6 months. As the adjustment is saying, the additional investment was made on 1st October. That means rupees 1 lakh investment was in the business for 6 months. This 1 lakh became 2 lakh and this is how we are going to calculate the interest on investment. So, it makes investment as 18,000 investments have increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. So, this is how we have dealt with the adjustment of investment. Now, we have one more adjustment that is plant and machine. We have provision for depreciation as well and one adjustment also. In the adjustment, the thing is a machine costing rupees 50,000, 
accumulated depreciation thereon. That means, machine which was costing 50,000 to use someday, on which 30,000 rupees depreciation is already accumulated, is sold. Now it is sold. So, whenever you face such kind of adjustment, we have to make a machine account and provision for depreciation account. Let us see how do we make that. The opening balance of machine would be on the debit, 6 lakh according to the question. We can see it again and closing balance on the credit and provision 50 and it is on credit side when it is closing balance. So, this thing is already been dealt in your class 11th. I must recall that whenever you get asset, you start it from the debit and close it from the credit. Provision starts from credit and closes from debit. Now, let us go to the adjustment. The adjustment says, machine costing rupees 50,000, accumulated depreciation thereon. Accumulated depreciation means the machine which is going to be sold on that rupees 30,000 depreciation is already is with provision. So now we have to make this depreciation happen to the machine. Let us see how do we do that. As we know depreciation is accumulated here on the credit that is provision. But now when the machine is sold the depreciation on the sold part must be extracted and sent to the machine so that the sold part of the machine gets back to its original value. Let us see, to machinery. That means by putting an entry on the debit side, I have removed that depreciation which is being charged on the sold part. And this would be transferred to the machine account. As we want to bring that machine on its original value, right? You can see the depreciation charged on the sold part is 30,000. The accumulated depreciation is 30,000. Now, it is sold for 5,000. A machine on which 30,000 depreciation is charged and the costing was 50,000. Now, the book value is 20,000 and you sold it for 5,000. Rupees 50,000 machine, 30,000 depreciation, book value is 20,000 and you sold it for 5,000. That means, remaining is loss that is 15,000 and this is how we make machine account. Here you can see the total of machine account is 7,50,000 of credit side. The same total is to be placed on the debit side. Now we have a balancing figure 1,50,000 and do you know what is that? This is what you have purchased during the year. And that is why we made this account, 7,50,000 total of both the sides. Now, it is the turn for balancing provision for depreciation account. The total of debit side is 1,10,000, total of credit side should also be 1,10,000. So, the balancing figure is 60,000 and this is the depreciation charged during the year and this is how we make machine account and provision for depreciation account. And let me tell you what are going to be the treatment for the things. As you can see, 150,000 is the purchase during the year, so this is going to be 
deducted from investing activities as it is purchase and outflow of cash. This 5000 figure is sold thing. So, this is an inflow of cash by selling our machine. So, this is going to be added in investing activity. And if you recall what you learnt in your previous sessions, you used to add loss on sale of any fixed asset and you have calculated one thing in this adjustment that is loss. So, it is going to be added in operating activities. And one more thing you have concluded, it is depreciation during the year. And in the previous session, we discussed whatever is depreciation, it must be added in the operating activities. This is how we complete our machine account and provision for depreciation account. And one more adjustment was there, which was for investments. And this is our interest received. So, it is also going to be added in investing activities. Okay. Let us start doing that in the format. The first thing was furniture, which has increased from 3 lakh to 4 lakh. This means 1 lakh rupees furniture is purchased. First thing which would appear in the format is purchase furniture and it would be deducted since it is an outflow. Next thing we had this plant and machinery thing for which we have made two accounts. Let us refer to the same. We purchased a machine for 150,000 and we sold one machine for 5,000. That is an inflow. Right? Let us move to the question again. We had laptops 50,000 to 350,000. That means you bought computers, laptops, etc. for rupees 3 lakh. Increment in the fixed assets, but an outflow of cash minus purchase of laptops 3 lakh. Now we have a last item investment increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. It is also an outflow of cash and we have received interest on the same investments and we have calculated that if we see our working note that is 18,000 and this gives you 627,000 in negative. That means this is cash used in investing activities. Let us understand one more question for the same topic cash flow from investing activities. Here on your screen we have a question. Here you see goodwill has increased from 50,000 to 250,000. Students, you must understand this thing. Whenever goodwill is increased, that means it is purchased. Goodwill has increased. The value of goodwill has increased. That means we have bought goodwill. It is an item of investing activities. Then we have patents. And if you see, patents are reduced from 1 lakh to 80,000. When patents are reduced, trademarks are reduced, and there is no other information, that means this intangible asset has amortized. And if you recall your previous sessions for cash flow, what we have learnt? We have learnt that amortization and depreciation are added back to operating activities. But in this case, I have given you two intangible assets. One is increasing and one is decreasing. So, make a rule in your mind when an intangible asset increase, it is to be deducted, being an outflow. But when this intangible asset decrease, that means it is amortized. So, 
it is not an item of investing activity, it is to be treated in operating activity the way we learnt it in the previous sessions. Now, we have 10 percent investment which has reduced from 2 lakh to 180,000 and do we have an adjustment on that? Yes, we have. Investment of rupees 60,000 was sold at a profit of 10,000. Okay, we will deal with that. And then after we have land 3 lakh to 280,000. Land has reduced and there is no adjustment on that. That means land is sold and the thing which is clicking your mind depreciation has been charged. So, that does not happen. Land does not attract depreciation. So, let us deal with all this stuff one by one. The first thing is goodwill. Goodwill has increased from 50 to 250,000 that means a pure outflow of cash. Cash flow statement and the thing which we are starting is cash flow from investing activities and first thing is goodwill purchased that is reduction outflow of cash rupees 2 lakh. Then we have patents which has reduced from 1 lakh to 80,000 that means amortization and this is not to be dealt in investing activities. Clear students? Now, we have 10 percent investments, 10 percent investments initially 2 lakh, then 180,000, then there is an adjustment. Let us make an account for investments. We have investment as an asset, so the balance will start from debit, opening balance on the debit side, closing balance on the credit side. And the question is saying investment of rupees 60,000 was sold at a profit of 10,000. That means we sold it for 70,000 and gain would appear on debit side. Losses appear on the credit side of asset account and gain appears on the debit side of asset account. And that is it, we have it as an information. But total of both the sides is to be equal, but total of credit side is 250,000 and there would be a balancing figure on the debit side that means it is purchase of investment. So, here you need to focus, 40,000 is going to be and outflow for investing activity and 70,000 is going to be an inflow in investing activities plus investment sold 70,000 minus investment bought 40,000 and now interest on investment. As you can see 10 percent is the rate of interest and investments are sold and bought on the very first day. The date of buying investment is not given, but we are assuming this buying and selling happened on the very first day. Okay. So, this 180,000 is the thing which we hold it during the year. So, the interest would be 18,000 as inflow and we have discussed that land 3 lakh to 280,000 and there is no other information and we cannot consider this reduction as depreciation. So, it is to be considered as sale. 
the final figure is 132,000, but in negative. So, this is going to be cash used in investing activity. So, this is how we complete cash flow from investing activities and cash flow from financing activity would be dealt in our next session. Till the time you all are advised to practice the similar kind of questions from your textbook. Thank you.